consider the reaction. In this case, butanol reacts with semi-carboxide in acidic medium and the compound formed is Y. In Y, which of the following bonds is most likely to be present? The options are N1C1, N2C2, N2C3, N3C1. So, let's start the question, students. So, students, let's start with the structure of semi-carboxide, which is NH2, NH, C double bond O, NH2. In this compound, there are three nitrogen atoms marked as 1, 2 and 3. All the three nitrogen atoms have a lone pair. But students, the lone pair of nitrogen which is marked as 2 and which is marked as 3 is delocalized because of resonance with the carbonyl group. The lone pair of nitrogen which is marked as 1 is free for donation. As a result, this nitrogen will participate in the nucleophilic addition reaction with the carbonyl group. This attack over the carbon and the bond will shift towards oxygen. The final product so formed is CH3, CH2, CH2, CH double bond N, NH, C double bond O, NH2. The carbonyl carbon is number 1 which is already given in the question. This is number 2, number 3, number 4. The nitrogen which reacts with the carbonyl carbon is marked as number 1. The next is number 2 and, and the last is number 3. Consider the reaction. In this case, ethane nitrile is first acidic hydrolyzed, a compound formed which reacts with ammonia and further heated to give a compound which reacts with Br2 in KOH that is potassium hydroxide and a product so formed as A. We have to identify A. The options are ethane amine, methane amine, methyl bromide or ethyl bromide. So students, let's start the reaction starting with CH3CN. When nitrile is hydrolyzed in acidic medium, we have already discussed that the compound is converted to carboxylic acid. When this reacts with ammonia on further heating gives ch 3 C double bond O NH2. This on reaction with Br2 in KOH, Hoffman bromamide degradation takes place and acetamide is converted to methane amine. One carbon less from the compound. So the compound formed is methane amine. That means number 2 is the correct option. Moving to next question students which is 78. On heating cyclohexene with potassium permanganate in acidic medium gives. The options are malonic acid, the next is succinic acid, the next is adipic acid and the last is glutaric acid. Students as it is very clear that Potassium permanganate in acidic medium, that means acidic KMnO4 does oxidative cleavage of alkenes giving respective carboxylic acid. Cyclohexene when reacts with KMnO4 in acidic medium, a compound formed is hexane 1,6 dioic acid. This compound is also called as adipic acid. That means the correct answer for this question is option number 3. Moving to next question which is 79. Which of the following statements is correct? Student here we are given with 4 statements and we have to identify that which among the following is a correct statement. Let's start the first statement. Aldehydes are higher boiling liquids than carboxylic acids of comparable masses. Students, this is an incorrect statement as we all know that carboxylic acids have higher boiling points because of intermolecular hydrogen bonding. On the other hand, the boiling point of aldehydes are lower because in aldehydes there exists dipole-dipole interaction. Moving to next statement, formic acid exists as dimer in vapor phase. This is a correct statement. I am drawing the dimer of formic acid which is HC double bond OH, HC 
OH double bond O. Because of hydrogen bonding, the dimer forms. Moving to next statement, which is benzoic acid is highly soluble in cold water due to extensive hydrogen bonding. This is an incorrect statement, students. Students, benzoic acid is nearly insoluble in cold water because of the larger size of its hydrophobic ring. Moving to last statement, which is acetic acid is immiscible in water. Students, this is again an incorrect statement as acetic acid is miscible in water. That means the correct answer for this question is option number 2. Moving to next question, which is question number 80. In the given set of reactions, starting with thalamide when reacts with potassium hydroxide gives B, which when reacts with ethyl bromide gives C, which on further reaction with aqueous NaOH gives sodium salt of thalic acid and a compound D, which is amine. We have to identify D, which can be methane amine, ethane amine, N methyl ethane amine, or N methyl methane amine. Students, it is very clear that the reaction given is Gabriel thalamide synthesis. I am writing the reaction Gabriel thalamide synthesis. This synthesis is used for the preparation of 1 degree aliphatic amine. I am starting the reaction with thalamide which is benzene C double bond O double bond O NH. When this compound reacts with potassium hydroxide which is KOH, the compound so formed is C double bond O double bond O N minus K plus and water molecule is eliminated. When this reagent further reacts with ethyl bromide, SN2 reaction takes place and the compound so formed is benzene C double bond O, C double bond O, N ethyl and KBr is the side product. When this reacts with aqueous NaOH, it gives sodium salt of thalic acid that is benzene C double bond O, O minus Na plus C double bond O, O minus Na plus along with ethyl amine. In this reaction, 1 degree aliphatic amine is formed. As a result, we can say that the correct answer for this question is option number 2. This is D. This is B. This is C. Moving to next question, which is 81. 